Hi everyone, welcome to the video. We're going to be looking at transitions in this one. Transitions is we'll be doing one at the moment. It's just this. Watch for this. It goes from this video to the next one and we just do a cut. So just jumps across. But that is a transition. Okay, we're going to look at other ones like, ready? Cross dissolve. Ooh. Okay, we'll look at another one where it fades to black in between. We will fade it to white in between. Okay, different transitions. We'll also get it to kind of like dip to black at the end here. There you go. We'll also talk about pre-roll and post-roll and what it is, and we'll do some adjustments to our workspace. Uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, let's look at our transitions. So we've done a transition already, right? Um, uh, just a cut. Watch. I'm going to put my playhead there, hit spacebar. That is a transition. Okay, uh, but we want to do some fancier transitions, but you'll use just a lot, you know, just, just so you know, cuts are really common. So what I want you to do, I'm going to show you some basic ones here. We'll do some more fancy ones later in the course, but I want you to just keep an eye out. Now that you're a video editor, just look at your favorite TV show, your Netflix, look at, um, you know, your YouTube channels that you watch and just see how they do their edits just to build up a bit of like a vocabulary about it, just get a feeling for what you like and what they kind of convey. So the very next TV show you watch, that's not my video course, um, go and just, just keep an eye out for like the transitions just to get an idea of how they work. So we're going to look at some of the basics to find your transitions. They kind of hide them. They're in the effects panel and in my particular screen layout, I've got to click this little double arrow here and it's kind of there it is there effects. Okay, and it jumps across. So that is painful because I don't use info very much. I don't use libraries at the moment very much, media browser. We're not using these in this essentials course, markers, history. There's lots of stuff we don't need. Okay, and they're all kind of lumped in here. We will use effects a lot and we'll use the project window a lot. Okay, so what we're going to do is just click on the little, see the little burger menu just next to the word history or any of these ones, go to close panel. Okay, next one, close panel. Effects, we're going to leave on. Info, so I'm just clicking on the word, libraries, and then the little stripey lines appear, close panel. I'm just going to get it down to two, nice and clean and clear. Okay, if you accidentally, I bet you half of you <laughs> have gone through and actually closed the wrong one. Okay, so if you've gone, oops, <laughs> effects is gone, or your project's gone, just go to window, there is the effects again, turn it back on. If yours has gone horribly wrong, what you can do is go to window, workspaces, and go to editing, and then go back into here, workspaces, and go to reset to save layout. The problem is, is Lumetri Cut is going to close, okay, and all these windows down here are going to reopen, but you can kind of get back to here eventually. So these two are what we need most of, and the one we're going to use now is called Video Transitions. So there's a little chevron here, a little arrow, click on it, and you can scroll down, and there is Transitions. So we'll look at the main ones to get started with, and the mainest onest is the one under Dissolve. Hit the little arrow. There's this one called Cross Dissolve. This is the main one. Okay, so cuts a lot of the time, cross dissolves the rest of the time. And all we need to do is we need to, uh, I'll show you what happens. Click, hold, and drag it. And we're going to put it between uh, number one and number two. And you can kind of see, it's like, where do I put it? Just kind of dump it in there. Okay, regardless of where it is, and we'll have a look at how to adjust that afterwards. It's very teeny tiny, so we have to zoom in. So get your playhead where it needs to be, and let's zoom in a little bit, hitting plus on your keyboard, okay, or struggling along with the little rubber band. Okay, and you can see there's a cross dissolve in there. So uh, I'm going to click on it, okay, just select it in the middle, hit delete. That's how you get rid of a transition, and I'm going to add it again. So dragging this on, and you'll notice that there's a way of putting it there. I can kind of like have it on the right hand side, can have it on this side. It just depends on how, what kind of like dissolve you want. Do you want it to be mainly this side disappearing and this side kind of like starting off fresh, okay, without any sort of fuzziness? Or do you want a kind of an equal blend, okay? Most of the time, stick it in the middle, okay? Bit of both. Whereas this, you can drag it afterwards and kind of decide that I want it mostly on this side. So it just means that, can you kind of see the dissolve's already finished before you get in there? Okay, it doesn't really matter. Okay, at this stage at least. Okay, so I'm going to do cross dissolve right in the middle. I'm going to grab my playhead back, hit spacebar. Oh, look at that, soft transition. Then moving across the screen. So that is how to add a transition. Let's look at how to adjust it. So let's say that you want it to be a more of a Scooby-Doo kind of like extended stretch. Okay, so that was a bit quick. 
You can just grab either ends of these, okay? And when I say grab them, use your selection tool, okay? And just hover above the end till you see this little icon. Click it, hold it, drag it, and just drag it up. It'll drag both sides. And you've got a, you've basically doubled the length of that cross dissolve. So move your playhead back here, hit spacebar. Experienced designer using the software. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo. <laughs> that is very too purposeful you'd have to be doing something other than a how-to video to really pull that off i feel like just so you know like a cross dissolve can be used quite simply okay and it doesn't mean a whole lot but when you extend it out a bit it's kind of playing with uh like time it's saying that time has passed watch so lots of time has passed in this one you can use it for different effects i'm not going to go into too much detail on what the meanings behind the different transitions are okay it's kind of another course but in this case a nice simple transition okay i might speed mine up you can make it smaller as well just to kind of change between scenes i don't really like it here but hey you'll use it in lots of different uh, projects we do through this course. Let's look at another one. So I'm gonna leave the cross dissolve there and I'm gonna grab my middle of my little stretchy rubber band thing and I'm gonna find the gap between O2 and O3. Let's have a look at some of the other ones in dissolve. So dip to black is a nice one. Okay, stick it between here, hit space bar. During this course, nice simple one. Okay, just transition between two different videos, dip to black. Let's scroll along a little bit further. You can dip to white. Let's have a little look. Now this course okay, uh, just a different way of transitioning. Um, let's not, film dissolve looks a lot like an edit, additive dissolve, look a lot like cross dissolve. There are lots of other ones in here. Um, you're happy, like, I can't really stop you now from going and playing with them all. Some of them, like Morph Cut is super hardcore and it's gonna freak your machine out. So if, we'll look at Morph Cut later on, um, but you can play around with these at the moment. We will cover that later on in the course if you do wanna hold off, but you don't have to. Um, there's only two in here that you're not allowed to use because uh, page peel, okay, uh, and um, where's barn doors? Is barn doors in this one? Wipe barn doors. So barn doors and page peel, you are banned from using. It's against the law, okay? <laughs> they are terrible, terrible transitions. You are going to go and try them out. I know. You'll see that they're terrible, and if you find somebody actually else that's using page peel in their video editing, make sure you, um, I'm serious, contact a member of staff and tell people. Those are really bad transitions. Anyway, uh, what else do I need to do? Oh yeah, let's look at kind of other uses for say dip to black. So let's go back to dissolve, let's go to the end of our video. Okay, dip to black, even though it's kind of like a transition as well, you can actually just stick it on the end and watch this. It does a nice, upside down, so, I wear lots. so it dips to black, a nice way of finishing uh, my clip like this, and you can drag it way out so it kind of starts fading nicely. Because it, it doesn't mean anything and it's upside down, so I wear lots. There you go. And another thing before we go, I'm going to talk about post-roll and pre-roll. So I'm going to click on this dip to black and get rid of it. Um, I'm going to explain why what pre-roll and post-roll is and why I sit around like an idiot at the end of these doing this. <laughs> See, watch, playing, playing. And then I sit there like an idiot for a while. <laughs> You're probably like editing the video going, what's it doing? It's so that I can do transitions like that. It gives me scope after I've filmed to kind of go like this, add this transition, scope it out, uh, you know, drag it out so that there's Okay, can you see? Now I've got scope to do it. If you finish and the first thing that the, you know, the talent does, uh, or the actor does, or in this case me, is finish, then quickly stand up, there's nothing you can really do at the end other than just cutting it, which is a little bit um, lame. You'll notice at the beginning of lots of my videos as well. Uh, let's go back. So that's pre-roll, uh, post-roll. So post is an afterwards. So after the footage, try and get your talent to sit there for a little while and <laughs> feel like an idiot. Um, but let's have a look at this one. So I'm looking at 01 again. You'll notice that I do a lot of, I always got post-roll because I'm always thinking about something. So you see, it's just a little bit of like me <laughs> being a dork. It just means I can do the same thing. Grab my razor tool, slice it off there. Okay, delete that bit, grab my effects, grab my dip to black. Things freaking out. I'm gonna use my selection tool. 
drag it on. You can't drag it onto the audio, okay? So I was trying to drag it onto the audio, then it's like, I won't work. You might have already had that problem in the course, okay? But just make sure it's dragged up to the video part at the beginning, okay? And now I got some pre roll. There you go, see? Um, and post roll. That's what it is. It's more just showing you. So, why does Dan do all that stuff at the ends and beginnings? That's because of that. All right, that is the basics of transitions. We'll do some fancier bits later on, but it's a nice, good introduction to it. Let's move on to the next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here. And also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.